Hi, this is Christina Warren from Mashable.com and I'm just going to walk you through some of the new iOS 4 features that go along with iTunes 9.2. So if you've already upgraded to iTunes 9.2, then you've already seen that it's, it supports um, the new OS and um, that also means that it supports some new features. The biggest features are actually with how some of the different app handling stuff works. So here are some of the things that you wouldn't have seen, for instance, um, if you just have the iPhone 1.18 uh, or, or 2.21 or whatever it was, uh, the, the last 3.0 update on your phone. We go to the applications page. You'll notice that now you can see the background that you've chosen for your iPhone and you also see any of the folders that you created. Now, uh, I, I chose kind of an opportune time to start this screencast as my phone is now syncing with um, iTunes, but this actually kind of gives you a good overview of what's going on. If you have an iPad, this screen will look familiar because it shows um, what applications are installed that support file sharing on the iPhone. And in this case, Stanza Documents works so I can add documents that would be openable in Stanza directly here. I can either drag it in or I can add it from this dialog box and that will then be transferred into the Stanza library on my phone when I sync up. So they haven't done a whole lot of stuff to make it any easier to kind of sort through your applications when you're looking for stuff to find. You can search by name, you can search by type, but it's still kind of a, a, a lengthy and, and I have to say tedious process to finding what you want to do. What is better, however, is that because of folder support, you can now group icons together um, very quickly and then move those icons around. So for instance, um, I'm just gonna start at this last page because this has some of my more recent apps and things like that. So let's say that I wanted to create, I don't know, let's just say utilities. Um, so I will take this Mac Tracker app and I'm gonna drag it on top of Wolfram Alpha and reference is what it comes up with. And that's actually not a bad title. If I wanted to change the title, I could, you know, something else, but um, in this case, I'm actually just gonna keep reference because I think that works. Now, um, the, now this has created a little stack, a little folder called reference. And when I double click on that, it shows what apps are here. If I click on the X and delete the app, it'll actually remove it from my phone. But if I wanted to just drag it back here, I could do that. And if you wanted to get rid of the stack altogether, for instance, then you would just drag them out. So we'll recreate the stack and, and we want reference as the name. And if I want to add something else to a text expander, that's not really reference, but let's say one, one day um, in time and, uh, or on this day rather, that's a reference app. And uh, we'll just pretend that, that this feed reader is a reference app and, and you can go from there. And then I can move this into any of the other pages. So if I wanted to go ahead and move this onto this page, through my catalog, I can. They still don't really give you an option to kind of sort and automatically consolidate all the white space um, between your different pages of apps, which is annoying, but at least it, it's better than, than nothing. Um, when you actually look at your apps, and I'm actually not gonna go ahead and apply that uh, right this minute. When you look at your apps, they've gone ahead and they've kind of been working on this since the, the iPad was released, but they've kind of now put things into genre groups, which is really nice. And for instance, I can double click on reference and see all of my different reference apps for my iPhone and my iPad. The only problem is that you can't just sync this as a group with your phone. I really think that they should do that. I really think that that would be an advantage, um, but they don't. Um, maybe Apple will, will implement something like that in the future. Um, the book apps, this will show anything that's books. And, and this is actually not a bad way to kind of find and organize things by genre. And when you're actually searching for apps, um, you can you can sort by category and it will show you all the things in different categories so you can then select them and kind of bring them into new groups. Um, one nice feature, for instance, social networking, if I wanted to search for, uh, let's say, Looped, I can see that Loop Star is here and I can now drag this app directly in. So that does make it a little bit easier to manage, especially if you're creating groups. You can just search for your apps and wherever it's located on the home page, it will go ahead and add it um, to that point. If that app was already in another folder, like for instance, Loops was actually, it used to be in this check-ins folder, it'll move it in and move it into the new stack. Um, 
and obviously you can move things around. This was this was a feature in in, in previous um, iPhone nine versions, um, which is which is nice. You know, makes it a little bit easier to kind of drag things around. But like I said, I do wish there was a way to kind of alphabetize things or, or make things easier. Um, and you can move you know the dock around um, as so. As more and more apps support file sharing, I think this will become increasingly important, especially since iOS 4 has better file system support but still doesn't have a full file system. Um, Stanza, for instance, can take Mobi and, and EPUB books and that sort of thing. So if I wanted to add in an ebook here, um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add uh, – let's see if this will let me choose that. So yeah, so I've, got, I've now got this Stanza document which I'm going to apply, um, and it'll now let me view that within that application. Uh, GoodReader supports this on the iPad, and actually there are a number of apps that support it on the iPad, and I hope that those apps will update themselves to work in uh, iOS 4 so that um, the file sharing support can work. Um, and then this is because it just makes it really nice and easy as a way to kind of transfer documents to and from your different applications when you're doing your syncing stuff, especially if it's an app that doesn't work over the air. That's pretty much the, the big thing. The books um, right now, you know, there's iBooks hasn't been released yet. As soon as iBooks is released, then any of your eBooks that you have will be syncable on the i on the iPhone as well. So, um, you know, if I wanted to drag the book here, and it says the iBooks application is not installed, so you won't be able to read them on your phone. You can add the iBooks application using the Apps tab. So that tells you it's coming and eventually what's going to happen is that when the app is available you'll be prompted by the app store to go ahead and download it uh, and logging in with your category will be able to logging in with your iTunes account rather will download any books you've already got which is great the nice thing again about the file sharing is once I've already synced the app with it it'll show me any documents that are there and I can add or remove and you can also then save those documents if say you've saved something to it you can save it someplace else which is nice that's pretty much it. I mean, the big feature is just dragging on top of one another can create a stack, which is really nice. And uh, it, there's a little bit better sorting capabilities and, and being able to kind of manage applications that way, file sharing and iBooks when that launches. So this is uh, the iOS in iTunes 9.2. Good stuff. And uh, stay tuned to, to Mashable.com for more video overviews for all your iOS needs.